Linea Machina, moving to the next level, these are instruments, as I've learned, and he will correct me, that are 100% handmade in Edgar's shop. You choose mm. everything. You choose the wood. You choose the varnish. You choose the shape. You choose... Mm. You, you choose you, the end pin, of course, all those things, and it doesn't cut, so it's hand built in your shop. The fact that you take away some wood by hand makes the sound better. This is not the key point. The key point is the more time you have as a maker to touch the wood and collect experience and response of how the wood is moving, reacting, and, and the consistency and uh, how it has been grown and you understand everything of this piece of wood you're working on, the more you can adjust minor changes in order that you get the maximum out of it. A linea maki costs certainly much more, but then certainly having a handcrafted made instruments, uh, linea maki is already another dimension. Everybody who makes the step from the Scala Perfetta to the linea maki, they will immediately hear it. And if there would be a way that I could make it like this and it sounds that great, I would just make hundreds of it, but it's, that it's impossible. You, at a certain point you have to cool down and you have to make it by hand, by yourself. The instruments I'm making right now, these precious instruments, everything is made by hand. There is no machinery which can collect these informations which are important for the maker to make something which sounds at a certain point. And that's okay. a question I was going to ask is um, about the linea maki. It seems like you, because a lot of people, when they think about like a handmade cello, it's made by one person, one person only. Like this is your master cello. You signed it. You made it 100%. No one else touched it. But linea maki is unique because it's your shop that get created. It's not just you. It's still hand built, but it's, is it true? It's everyone in your shop. Yes, we make it and so if someone has a little bit a moment where he doesn't know what to do or uh, let's do this one or that one, then one is fitting the bass bar, the other one is bending his own ribs, so he's bending also the ribs for the linea maki. Um, you cut one thing, then you make also that one immediately. And so they, they, they grow next to each other and we all work on those instruments. But there's a difference if, if you have something you're working all by yourself or everybody works together. This is a little bit the concept of the linea maki. So even myself, I, I work on the linea maki. So you, you also buy a little bit of my time, certainly, 